we are right side of Wemlin and we have already been through three police checkpoints. And it's really, really hard to shoot on the streets because like literally on every corner there is either military or police. So, you know, I just can't take too many chances. Western Sahara. much needed rest, it was time to hit the streets. Layun is the capital of Western Sahara, and there is no better place to get to know this region than its largest city. The first thing I noticed was the empty and quiet streets, the colorful and modern architecture, and the numerous Moroccan flags nearly everywhere around the city. The two latter, however, came as no surprise as Morocco has claimed the fact of this part of the region and thus pours a lot of money and effort to prove its authority here. Also, a large number of the locals here also identify themselves as Moroccan. So, there's some beautiful foundations here and a rather interesting graffiti. As you can see on the streets, it's pretty obvious who's the boss here. I mean, you can see Moroccan flags and Moroccan patterns everywhere. in this uh, empty little alley. I have to say it feels rather strange to be here. I mean, one part of the city feels modern and the other feels just strange, like this is some Star Wars movie setup or... And it's really, really hard to shoot on the streets because like literally on every corner there is either military or police. As you can see right now it's uh, about 6 a.m. We're having another walk here in the streets of Leon and now we're exploring a bit of uh, the ugly side of the city. They're not so rich and popular side of the city. Okay guys, and one last update for today. I just came to this uh, square, I was here in the morning, that was apparently well, like the rest of the, of the town, uh, hard to film, but right now it's just full of people. It just looks like all the Sahari people here just go out after dark, and it makes total sense. This place is really nice, and really vibrant, totally different than what it looked like in the morning. All right guys, I'm coming back to you once again from my hotel room. Uh, it's afternoon, we, we can finally call it a day for today. Uh, we've seen quite a lot of things and it's been really eye-opening. That's it for now. Uh, tomorrow at 8 o'clock we're gonna head off to uh, Dakhla, the second largest city here in this region. Obviously Dakhla is also administered by Morocco. So it's, and it's gonna be an 8 hour bus ride in the desert so yeah I suppose we're gonna have uh, to deal with the, the police checkpoints every here and there and it's gonna be a long long ride so that's pretty for now and I'll see you guys tomorrow Alright guys, it's been more than 5 hours ever since we left off uh, Layun. We are again somewhere in the middle of nowhere, taking a brief stop. We've been running through this for like 5 hours and we have at least 3 more until we reach Dakhla. 
and our bus ride is finally over. We finally made it to Dakhla in uh, Western Sahara. So right now we'll head to our hotel. We finally uh, got some lunch and we managed to get our ticket. And let me just tell you that from the first impression it looks much better than the Yun and much more relaxed. Dakhla proved indeed so much different. After spending three full days here, I got a glimpse of its various different parts. Just like in Layun, Dakhla also has a busy and beautiful center. Amazing graffiti is right here, way more modern than Layun or what you even expect from a place like this. As well as poorer and quiet suburbs. But unlike before, here I also found busy markets, many more tourists and a relaxing sight by the sea. Today we are exploring the lesser known and somewhat poorer districts of the city. Uh, Dakhla, I have to say, it's completely different the feeling than Layun. I mean, in Layun I always felt like I'm being watched with the police, like it was rather strange and beautiful in a different way. But here I have to say that it feels so much better, like actually nothing uh, specific is going on, like it's totally normal city. And after going through the uh, dirtier or somewhat poor districts of the city, we finally made it back to the port. And here is a completely different way of life. Here people just taking a quick swim, although I suppose it's not that clear or just fishing. And just like in Layun, Dakhla really comes alive at night. Hello guys, so this is my final day here in Dakhla. Uh, it's been a real nice trip here in uh, the whole region of uh, Western Sahara. It's been a really remarkable experience. So I want to share my last thoughts with you about uh, Western Sahara and about Dakhla. Uh, Dakhla, like I said, it's been completely different in every single way from Layun. It's been a much more uh, relaxed place, less police activity, less military. It's still present, but it's not that important like it was uh, before. The thing that I want to talk, of course, is safety. Uh, while I was here in Western Sahara, there's not a single time that I felt that safe. I mean, uh, you know, you get the whole feeling that you are in a disputed uh, region, but uh, I never felt that safe. And it's not just because of the increased police activity. Uh, it's also that, uh, you know, the people are, I would confidently say, it's just like in the rest of uh, Morocco. Even uh, if you go out uh, during the night, which, uh, as I said, it's quite busy and it's really not uh, dangerous at all, it's quite safe. Uh, and of course I want to talk about the prices. Uh, I think that the only uh, remarkable expense I had uh, during this whole trip uh, once I started in Agadir was probably just uh, paying for the buses to take me from one place to the other. Closing here I would like to say that I really like this place. I would confidently visit it again, the region here. And as for Morocco, I, there is little I have to say because I already love this country, I really like it and well I would certainly come back including the, the lovely region of Western Sahara.